A thought is the most powerful force in the universe, you know. Your word is a thought expressed. If you are in a position of authority, your thought or word can direct how missiles, nuclear energy, dynamite, or thermonuclear weapons are to be used. Your thought determines how electricity is to be used. Likewise, your thought directs the operation of your life. Your subconscious mind could be likened to an iceberg. Ninety percent of it is below the surface. It is your subconscious mind that does the work according to the orders given by your conscious mind. What you think with your conscious mind, you produce with your subconscious. A uh, very interesting thing, which uh, I think you will appreciate, is... Uh, to know about Dr. Arthur Thomas. He's now Minister of the Church of Religious Science uh, in uh, Pasadena, but he was the minister in Reno, Nevada, for a long time. He gave me permission to write uh, this about him. He had been a captain in the British Navy at one time. More recently, he had been in the wholesale business as well, in the, as, well as in the real estate in Los Angeles. About ten years ago or more, he started attending my lectures on Sunday mornings. He said, I realized suddenly my thought was the only creative power of which I was aware, and I was going to create what I really wanted. Consequently, he began to affirm to himself frequently, I am a minister now. I am teaching the truths of life to people. This is what he used to say to himself. Every night he would imagine he was expatiating on the great truths to a wonderful group of men and women in a church. Not any particular church, just a church. You can do that in your mind, can't you? He continued to think along these lines for a month or so when he decided to take the ministerial course at the Institute of Religious Science here in Los Angeles. Confident of the end result, as he had already imagined and felt as true the reality of that which he imaged in his mind. He passed all tests and examinations in divine order, was offered the church immediately after finishing his seminary course. He is now doing exactly what he decreed mentally. He knew that his subconscious mind would respond mathematically and accurately according to his thinking process. That's the meaning of according to your faith is it done unto you. And of course it is. 